Hey guys, welcome to section 4.3. Let's just jump right into it. First things first, I just want to have a quick quiz for yourself. You might want to pause the, the video here. So I want you to write down what was the slope intercept equation versus the standard form of an equation. This is actually something you're going to need to know for the test. So pause the video just to see if you can write them both down and all what, what all the letters mean. So the slope intercept equation, so this is going to be y equals mx plus b. M stands for the slope, B stands for the y-intercept, y-intercept, I-N-T, and then the standard form of an equation, that was AX plus BY equals C. Very important that you remember, A, B, and C have to be integers, so they have to be whole numbers, right? Okay, so now I want to introduce a new form of an equation, uh, the point-slope formula. So this is going to be what we're using for most of this lesson today, this point-slope formula. So you need a point and a slope. What can I tell you? Math people, we're not very creative with how we name things, point-slope <laughs> formula. So it looks like this. This is really, really handy to write equations of lines. First things first, all I want you to do is just use this form, nothing else. So I'm just going to give you a point and a slope, and I want you to plug in the information. So for instance, 2, negative 4, and m equals 3. So if I just plug it into this, all I would want you to do is to write y minus negative 4 equals 3 times x minus 2, and then just rewrite that as y plus 4 equals 3 times x minus 2. That's all I want you to do, just get used to where the, the numbers go. So do it for the next one, hit play when you're ready. Okay, so this one's going to be y minus negative 1 equals negative 4 times x minus negative 3. So this becomes y plus 1 equals negative 4 times x plus 3. Okay, so now we're going to use that. And we're actually just going to jump right into an example of why you would even want to use this. So the next two pages, we're going to outline some techniques of how different ways you could approach the same thing. And I tend to find that these techniques, one of these might jump out at you. And if you, one of these really resonates with you and that's what you want to use for the rest of this lesson, that's, that's totally fine with me, but I want to show you both. So we're going to go through detailed step-by-step -step directions just so you can kind of think through all the details on this and then you've got something you can refer to as you work on these um, on your own. So we're going to show how to write the equation of a line given the slope and another point and we're going to use the slope intercept form of a line first. So first method here. So I have um, this a slope and a point so my slope in this case is going to be 2 3 and my or my point is 2 3 my slope is 4 and I want my final answer in slope intercept form so we're going to use the y equals mx plus b equation to see if we can write the equation of a line okay so using this highlighted information here so maybe I'll, I'll even get rid of this other highlight so just these two things that I've highlighted so I want to plug in all of the information that I have into this equation. So what would I plug into the y? I would plug in the y equals 3, so the 3 part from this coordinate. And then what would I plug into the x? So I would plug in x equals 2, so that's the 2 part from the, the point. And then for m, I was told m equals 4. And then b, we're going to plug in nothing. So we solve for this. So this gives you just a sense of how this should look. So now I want to plug this information into my y equals mx plus b form. So I've got y equals mx plus b, and now I want to plug in that information. 3 equals 4 times 2 plus b. So this is what I want to solve for is my b. So now I'm going to go through and, and work this out. So this becomes 3 equals 8 plus b. Subtract the 8 from each side. I get b equals negative 5. Now, what you want to do is you want to use the B that you found and the M that you have so that you can state this in slope-intercept form. So your answer, then, is going to be Y equals 4X minus 5. That would be the final answer in this case. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to basically repeat this exact process on your own, thinking through all these details. You have all the directions. I want you to do this for example two. Pause the video, try it out, hit play when you're ready. Okay, 
So I want to plug this into my y equals mx plus b equation. So if I plug in my point and my slope, this is going to come out to 4 equals 3 times 1 plus b. So now I have to solve for this. So I get 4 equals 3 plus b. Subtract off the 3 and I get b equals 1. Then I have to state my answer, which will be y equals 3x plus 1. And remember, you're plugging in the b and the m. The m we said was 3. So those are the two pieces that you need. Okay, so this is way 1 you can write an equation. Now I want to do the same problem we just did. I just want to do it in a slightly different way. So still using the point 2, 3 still using m equals 4, but now we're going to use this point slope form of an equation just to kind of get you used to it. So we're going to plug all of this in just like you did in the first um, exercises, so let's go through this. So I what do I want to plug into y1? My y1 will be part of that given point, so my y1 will be the 3. And then for the x1, I want to plug in the 2 for that, and then for the m, so that once again that'll be 4. So it's a little bit of a change in how we think about this. So the x and the y in this case, these parts you leave alone, it's just the x1, y1, and the m that you want to plug in. So it is a slightly different approach. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to solve, or I want to plug all this information in. So this becomes y minus 3 equals 4 times x minus 2. And remember, I wanted to have this equation in slope-intercept form. So coming back to up here, slope-intercept form. So what I need to do to get this into slope-intercept form is I need to solve this for y. So I'll just note that here. Solve for y. So now there's like just some natural steps that we're going to have to do to do that. So first we have to distribute. So this will be 4x minus 8. Then how do you finish solving for y? Well, you'll add 3 to each side. And so ultimately you get y equals 4x minus 5, which, hey, if you compare this answer to what was on the previous page. Let's just take a look. Hey, yeah, it was 4x minus 5, so we're good to go. So we did it right. So this is the other way you can try this. So it's totally up to you. It doesn't matter which way you want to do this. Um, so I have example three. I want you to try using this technique one more time just to give it a fair shot. So go ahead and try it. Hit play when you're ready to see the solution. So if I plug in the information that I have, this will be y minus 1 equals 5 times x minus 3. And I want to get this in slope-intercept form. So this will be y minus 1 equals 5x minus 15. I'll add 1 to each side. So I get y equals 5x minus 14. And that'll be my answer in this case. Okay, so now turning to you. There's no correct answer to this. Which technique did you prefer to use? Could be the first, it could be the second, it could be both. You do you. So for some people, they like both techniques, so they'll use both techniques as a way to check themselves. It's totally fine if you want to do that. If there's one way that you're just like, no, I'd rather use it one way or the other way, that, that's totally fine. doesn't matter. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to do examples four and five, so you can pause the video and try both of them. And um, both of these, you're going to put your, so in the first one, you're going to put your answer in slope-intercept form. Now for this other one, you're going to put your answer in standard form. So maybe in some ways this is a little bit of a challenge question because you have to remember what we did to get into standard form. But either way, you're going to start both the same. Um, so maybe just start with 4, hit play when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, so for this one, I will just use, um, why don't I just use the slope-intercept form? So I'll use my y equals mx plus b equation, and I'll just plug in the information that I have. So I'm going to plug in the 1 for y, I've got the negative 3 for the m, and negative 2 for x, and I need to solve for the b. So this will be 6 plus b when I multiply that together. Subtract off the 6, so I get b equals negative 5. So I needed my equation in slope-intercept form anyways, so this just comes out to negative 3x minus 5. Okay. Now, here is actually a second part of this, though. Put this into standard form. How would I put this into standard form? Well, remember, you need x and y on the same side. So if I want to put this into standard form, so I'll just note this in purple, all I want to do then is add the 3x to the other side. So I get 3x plus y 
equals negative 5, bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Okay, so with that in mind, I want you to try example 5. If you haven't yet, pause, try, hit play when you're ready. Okay, so for me, I'm going to use the other form. I'm going to just keep switching back and forth um, in case people go one way or the other. Okay, so this will be y minus negative 1 equals 5 times x minus 3. So now i got to sort this out. So I get y plus 1 equals 5x minus 15. Okay, so first I, I kind of just like to get it in this into slope intercept form. So I will just write this as 5x minus 16. And then to get this into standard form, now all I have to do is subtract the 5x. So I get negative 5x plus y equals negative 16. Okay, so um, this seems like a, a good place to stop actually, and then we'll, we'll continue on with this in the, the next video. Thanks for watching.